Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your new Apple Watch Series 8. Let's get started. All right, now for this installation to work, you're going to need your iPhone with the Apple ID set up and you're going to need your Apple Watch. Make sure that both have somewhat of a good charge with them because the setup process may take a little bit of time. All right, now there are a few ways that you can set this up. We're just gonna go through a simple one here. So you're gonna wanna turn on your Apple Watch and to do that, you're just going to press on the side button on the right side. There's a little button, just press and hold until the Apple Watch turns on. And then it's going to give you some instructions here. It's basically saying, bring your Apple Watch near your iPhone. If you already have an iPhone set up, you can bring your Apple Watch near the iPhone. It'll pop up like this, as you can see on screen use your iPhone to set up this Apple Watch. And that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna tap continue there. So on the iPhone, it's showing you two options to set it up for yourself or set it up for a family member. If you wanna set it up straight from the watch, you can. You can just start tapping like English, go through where you're from on the watch itself and keep tapping that way. And then it's going to give you an option here to start pairing. Just give that a quick tap. It's gonna show you this sort of camera icon you just need to finish this part where you say set it up for yourself or a family member and then it's going to basically pull up the camera and you're just going to want to fit that into that little camera slot there until it gives you the okay. And there you go. Your Apple Watch is paired. On the iPhone itself, it's going to give you some instructions. You can make this your new Apple Watch customize the settings. Let's go through the full customize of the settings here so you can see what you're going to be setting up. So we have this right here, which I had on my 2021 model, uh, the 44 millimeter case, and then we have this one. These are ones that I've used in the past. Now, if you've never used one or restored it from a backup before, if this is a brand new Apple Watch, you won't see any of these backups available to you here. If you wanna install it from a backup, you can. I'm gonna show you how to set it up manually. But once you tap on that, it's gonna load everything that you had on your previous Apple Watch, pretty simple. And then it'll ask you some of the questions you'll see in the manual setup anyway. But let's set this up as a brand new watch. So we'll tap that. You'll see up here it was spinning. We'll agree to the terms. It's going to sign into my account and it's using the Apple ID that you had set up on the phone. So if you don't have your Apple ID set up, you will need to do that first on the iPhone. Now it's gonna ask if you wanna share the analytics with Apple. We're going to say don't share. I don't like to share that information with Apple anyway. And now you can create a passcode for your Apple Watch. Now I don't do that. If you wanna create a passcode, you can tap create passcode. We're gonna say don't add. And it's recommending that we do. I'm gonna say don't use a passcode. Now as you go through this, the instructions are also going to appear on the Apple Watch as well. So you can just read it here. So you can set the text. So as I raise the boldness and the size of the text here, you can see what it looks like on the Apple Watch itself on your wrist while you're setting it up. So it's pretty cool. We'll tap continue. I'm just gonna leave it as is. Shared settings. So it's telling you that the Apple Watch shares settings with iPhone, location services, find my iPhone, Siri, and all that stuff. We'll tap okay. And now it's asking you to personalize your fitness and health information here. So you can set this up any way you want with whatever information that you have if you would like. And then you can just tap continue. Workout tracking, you can enable this if you plan to use this for different workouts. I'm gonna disable the root tracking right now. Get notifications about your health. So if you're listening to something where the noise is a little bit too high, like you're at a concert or something like that, the Apple Watch will actually notify you that you're in this kind of situation. So it's a good thing to have on. I traditionally just leave it on the way it is. And then some more safety features here. So emergency SOS, fall detection, crash detection, backtrack so if you're in a remote setting the apple watch can actually record your route in case you get lost that way you can find your way back so these are all good things that the apple watch has in it we'll tap continue now it also has an always on display which is something that's now with the iphone 14s uh, but we're going to tap continue just letting you know that's what it does the app view you can choose to view it like this where you have the tiles or the circles or the bubbles all around or you can tap the list view here and then it'll be more of a list that you scroll through on your applications. We'll leave it on the grid view and tap continue. And now you can see on the Apple Watch and on the iPhone that it's now syncing to itself. 
And this might take a little bit of time, so what you wanna do is just leave it alone. Don't turn off either of the devices. If they are plugged into the charger, leave them there and just give it its time to do its thing. Okay, you heard a little chime and that is it. The Apple Watch is now set up. On your iPhone, you can see it says, Welcome to Apple Watch. And you can go through some of the settings and features on the Apple Watch app on your iPhone, but you can also play around with it on your Apple Watch itself, playing around with all the new features changing your bubbles around, adding applications and complications to it. And I'll be going through all the tips and tricks that you can use with this Apple Watch. And there's a full tutorial series in the description. So if you're looking to learn more about your Apple Watch, definitely check out that playlist. And if you found this video helpful or enjoyable, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post those videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.